Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and today we're going to try a different way to do the mowing, weed eating, and cleanup around the pond. So about 18 months ago, I added this section of the pond right here with the bridge and the island and all of that. Before that, I had a routine down of how I would just back my brush cutter over the bank and let that trim. Regular tractor brush cutter. And that worked great. But now we have a different shape to the pond and we have some different areas that I need to address. And for at least one spot, I can't get it with a tractor brush cutter. So we'll just try this out and see how it goes. But what I'm going to be using is the offset brush cutter on my skid loader. Now these same kinds of offset cutters can be purchased for a tractor. It's what the county uses to mow the ditches, things like that. And... This may or may not be better. We're going to mow with it today and determine if that's the best way to do it going forward. So most of this is pretty straightforward, but let me go show you the far bank and we'll look at why that's a problem. Now from that side all the way around here, and actually three-fourths of the perimeter of the pond is all pretty easy to maintain. Every bit of that I could back the brush hog over, just tilt my top cylinder down, get a good enough angle that I could cut that. But this is a different story. So all of this, this path right here used to be about three foot wide. I've widened it to eight feet. And that's still not enough. There's no way to back down it with that brush cutter. So that leaves me looking for a way to do it. Now, this is really steep also. Now I could try to walk down it with a regular weed eater, and that may be, I mean, that may be what I do. I have to figure that out. The possibility also exists that I might rent a mini excavator and place riprap all the way down this. But I'm not doing that today. And I'm not weed eating it today. Today, I'm going to try to drive the skid loader down it with that offset brush cutter running down the bank. And the only problem with that is that even though we widen this out, it's still only like exactly the width of the machine. So it feels sketchy. There's no visibility. I don't feel really comfortable driving down this, but I've done it a few times. So I'm gonna test that out. I guess we'll start over there, get comfortable with it, and work our way here last. Thank you. 
So I missed one little patch there, but then on this part, it mowed three fourths the way down beautifully, but it doesn't have enough reach to get to the bottom. So that saved me a lot of work doing that, but I still, I'm gonna have to use a regular weed eater. What I think is actually probably the best solution for this is a sickle bar mower, one of the old fashioned ones, but it needs to have the ability to angle down but other than that, I think that might do the best job on this. For now, I'm gonna do some manual weed eating. But you guys have seen weed eaters before. As a matter of fact, I did some weed eating down here in yesterday's video. But I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. I'll put links on the screen to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.